we have Chinook salmon. We got coho salmon, chum salmon, and then there's steelhead, rainbows, browns, cutthroat, the odd Dolly Varden. Um, it's really picturesque. It's a beautiful river, and fishing it is it's a real treat. I've lived here all my life, and it never gets boring. I could fish this every day. There's a fish, fish on. That is post spawn rainbow. Catch and release is really important because we know not only we've caught the same fish in back to back casts, but we've also caught, we recognize the fish. We're out there every day and so you start to see the same fish and um, they're doing great. The importance of catch and release are that, that this specific body of water doesn't have a hatchery attached to it. So these are natural fish. So in order to keep this river in balance and have it function properly, it really should be a catch and release fishery. Special rules that are on the couch and that protect certain areas, like there's a fly only area, and I believe that's huge in protecting fish. From a perspective of being able to go out here on any given day and catch a fish, if you took them, it takes a long time for them to rejuvenate. Yeah, the Cowichan River is actually one of the cleanest rivers you'll ever find. And we have a lot of guests from around the world that come here and they'll tell us that. They can't believe you can see the bottom. You can see the bottom, you can see the fish. It's the proximity to the population base. I mean, somebody from Victoria can come up for a day and fish a world-class river, you know, with a, with a fly fishing only section that is chock full of trout and steelhead and coho and Chinook salmon and your odds of catching a fish are very high. It's just such a peaceful experience here. It's not only a great fishery, it, it's a wonderful experience. It's special. There's so many fish, it's so beautiful. Um, there's also all kinds of wildlife when we do look up from the river. Um, it's a great place to be, to spend a day. Mm -hmm.